What's up everybody? My name is Idil and you're watching Idil's Fish Bina. So today we are here at uh, our local peat swamp. We have here some students from uh, College Vocational Datuk Lela. They are fishery students and our goal today is to survey pulse feminist uh, population at this area. So yeah, let's get to it. This is a typical uh, habitat of Paros Romanus, they love to stay in the shallow areas uh, with lots of leaf litters. So we'll give it a try and see what we get. And they're not around. Going for the Here. We got a few. What? I got, I got two Paros Romanus Harvey, a uh, small one, and I think th this is a female. The big one is a female there. That's the female. Yeah, see that? Okay, right here we have Macrobranchium. This is a type of prawn. Okay, so. At the first spot we got two already, we'll continue searching and keep track of how, how many we get, right? This. We have here the comb tail. Oh, where is it? Where is it? It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. We keep looking. Kiki, what are you? Kiki, huh? I take off. What's up? Sakit dari baru. We got something. Let's see what we got. Oh. Huh. This is the climbing perch. Anabastus studenius. Yeah. See if you can focus. This is Anabastus studenius, the climbing perch. That's nice. Yeah. Okay, we got beta livida. Uh, this is female beta livida. Let's see if we can. There it is. A female beta livida. Uh, this is a mature. So we can breed this, but I already have enough. Uh, Beta Livida breeding stocks and I already have some F1s growing up inside my polystyrene box. So this one I'm gonna release. We are here to survey we're not talking. Okay, here's part of Hominus RV. Uh, juvenile, it's still young, we cannot breed this. Uh, so far we got uh, how many yet? I got seven, eight. Eight. eight, this is nine. So we got, we, we found nine paros from Minas Uh Yeah, we're gonna release this fella. Off it goes. Okay, there you go. Okay, we got another Anabaster Studenius. The climbing perch. And then this is uh, the leaf catfish. 
Surulictis. Uh, I think this is Surulictis indraginensis. Uh, I'm not sure. I know this is Surulictis, the leaf catfish. We got here another Anabas test to the news, another climbing perch and the clown Rasbora. This is Rasbora Kalakroma. As they get older, the, the spot, they lose the spot and they have the greenish shine uh, at the side. Uh, yeah, this is nice. Oh, I got another Anabas. I got another Anabas test to the news. This is a slightly bigger one. There it is. Okay. Right, uh, we got our first chocolate grammy of the day. Oh, the second, second chocolate grammy actually. Mr. Fayet already got one, so this is mine. Uh, Spheric this osprominoides. This seems to be a female, judging by the round cheek, and she is not, she is not brooding any eggs. So I'm gonna take this one home. Just stuck out on my breeding. Stop. Oh, nearly far. <laughs> nearly far. Just take it. Okay. Right here we have a uh, beta livida. Small beta livida. This is small Paros Rominus Harvey. And right here we have, uh, yeah, this is confusing because usually people see a bob with stripes like this. They will say it's a tiger bob or Desmopuntius hexazona. This is not Desmopuntius hexazona. This is not the six banded bob. This is actually the fry of. Desmopuntius johorensis, uh, the striped bark. Uh, when they're young, they are uh, they have the vertical bars like this. As they get older, they they develop the striped colors. So this is not this is not uh, the six banded bark. Okay, so we're gonna release small right there. So this is. This is Paros Fromenus species Tanjung Malim. Uh, some people might call it Paros Fromenus CF Rubrimontis. Uh, this is not the Harvey you usually find here. They are starting to appear at this location. Uh, we don't know what exactly it is. It might be Paros Rubrimontis. Someone might just came and released this species here. But this might be a new species or might be just a variation of Paros Fromenus Harvey. Uh, if, if you can look closely, there's a red stripe down the caudal fin, but at this position you cannot see because yeah, I'll I'll get a picture of it in inside the tank, okay? No. Right. Right here we have a good size pike head, Luciocephalus pulcher. That's a good size. Uh, looks to be a male. I think I think it's a male because the pointy fins. I'm not sure, but this is a good size. All right. Siapa nak ada warna? Tiga nama ma. Tiga nama lagi. All right. Here we have. This is Cotylatlimia pristis. There it is, Cotylatlimia pristis. It's a type of loach you usually find here. Okay. So we managed to get uh, Beta Bellica. The, this is Beta Bellica, the peaceful green uh, fighting fish. These are becoming very rare here. It's been really hard to find. Uh, for the past around five years, we came here. We only managed to catch 
this is the number five five years five fish uh, last year we got two fish this year no no last year we got one fish one beta bilica this year this is the second fish the first one was caught by mr patrick this one was caught by me with uh, help with from uh, mr fayat i don't know why it's becoming harder to get this fish here back in the days they are all over the place you can catch beta bilica a lot here but right now it's really really hard to get really hard to find so this is one of the reasons why i'm uh very fond of uh, conservation and trying to keep the species alive and not extinct uh i thought this this was extinct and i did I, I thought this fish was extinct at this place but uh, apparently they're not but they're just rare to find maybe they move to another area maybe the numbers have dwindled uh, I'm not sure so I think that's it for today's episode uh, we've got quite a lot of Paros Romanus Hawaii uh, in total we got around 40 I think 40 Paros Romanus Hawaii so we took back uh, uh, three pairs for the students the students they are going to do breeding projects and then uh, the rest we, we have released uh, so this beta blica I'm gonna bring home to pair with the female that I have at the shop so if you want to see beta blica you can come to my shop uh, I have a female there uh, preparing to breed but this is this is still a juvenile Small, a juvenile is not ready to breed yet so they, they need some time to grow first before we can breed them Okay, so that's it for today. I'll see you again next time in another episode of Idols Fish Mania. Bye-bye.